We're going to start building the rocket um, by building the engine mount. Uh, you're going to need the, the short tube, uh, the engine block, and you can install the engine block or you can leave it out if you want to save the weight. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it. And then we're going to put on the centering rings. Um, so now the engine block gets put in so that if you have an, a mini engine motor, um, it sticks out about three-eighths of an inch. So on this rocket engine right here, I've already marked it at three-eighths of an inch. So we just need to put some glue inside, um, put the ring in, and then shove the uh, engine block in. So I'm going to take a wood dowel. I'm going to put a, some glue on the end. And once you have the glue on there, keep it rotating so that um, the glue doesn't ooze onto your table and then just stick it into the tube and smear it around. Have some paper towels handy. Wipe that off. I'm going to put the engine block in, take my rocket motor and just slide it in. Okay, and then immediately pull that out. And now my engine block is in, and I want to label this because this is now the back end of the rocket engine. Um, next, we want to put three lines on the tube for our fins. So I'm going to take my fin marking guide sheet right here, and I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to use a hobby knife for this, so that's why I'm going to wear safety glasses. You don't want to chip your blade and have a piece go into your eye. So always use safety glasses. Take that, wrap it around the tube, take a piece of tape, and just make sure the edges align. And go ahead and put that tape across there. It could slide, that's okay. We just don't want it going sideways. I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to mark the tube for the three lines, three fin. Okay, and then we can slide that off. And we're done with that. Take an aluminum angle, and I use this to draw the straight lines down the tube. Um, Estes came out with a, uh, a fin drawing tool. It's kind of neat, but uh, I don't have one with me. So I'm just going to use the aluminum angle and then just draw a line along the length of the tube. All right. Now, the shock cord can be mounted. You can either mount it now um, by putting it underneath the blue ring, which is what I'm going to do. Or on these other rockets, you can see how I mounted the shock cord. Um, on the helicopter rocket, I put the shock cord, it goes from the bottom of the blades inside the tube out this hole right here. And then I glued it along the fin um, so that it's very strong. Um, I got a lot of gluing surface right there and that gives you a nice strong anchor. Um, the downside of that is you got a little bit of extra drag here because that shock cord is on the outside of the rocket. On this um, parachute duration rocket, I did the same thing, um, except for I didn't go through the tube. I wanted it on the outside. Um, and the reason we, did, we do this is because we want the rocket to come down suspended flat so we get more surface area so that it increase, increases the duration of the rocket. And what we will do is we'll balance it with a rocket engine installed. And we'll put a piece of tape at the balance point so that the rocket, the tube hangs horizontal like that. If you don't want to do it this way, 
Um, I'll show you one other option, and that involves building it right now. And we're going to take the shock cord, and this is going to slide onto the tube like that. Remember, that's our back end, so it's going to be on the front end. So we take the shock cord, go through the tube, or through the ring, slide the ring onto the tube, and now we're going to tie this around this tube. And what I do is I go around, I start with a long cord, go around, and I make a slip knot, so I just do a cross over the top, come underneath, and then go around shock cord there and then back through that hole like that and then I pull tight so now I got a big hole here big loop but as soon as I start pulling this way it tightens up just like that um, and then I'm going to glue the ring at the top of the tube slide this down all the way to the end of the tube like that and pull on the tight on the cord and snug it up against the ring like that the leftover this little leftover piece I want to cut off because it gets in the way so I'm just gonna cut it with my hobby knife and then I want to put a fillet of glue around that right there. Okay, so now this um, ring is going to be glued inside of this cone right here. And what happens is that little glue knot, it gets in the way and it's going to create a bump on the outside. To solve that problem, we're going to use this small ring right here, and that is going to be glued a little bit in front, so probably you have um, a little less than a quarter of an inch gap between the two rings. It's just going to be like that. Now if you don't mount your shock cord um, to this tube, you can leave the blue ring off. Um, that's going to save weight, and you want to save weight whenever possible. So I'm going to glue this ring there. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm just spin it around. I got too much glue, so I'm trying to take a little bit off. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then we're just going to go ahead and set that aside to dry. Um, the next time we'll pick this up is when we put it into this tube.